In this video, I want to show you how you can highlight your daily targets in your Power BI reports using conditional formatting and a bit of DAX knowledge. We're going to go through it step by step together with an example so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's jump right into the demo here. I've created a very simple Power BI report that just has one table, the orders table. Now this table is pretty easy and what we want from this table is to get the total sales on a daily basis. So pay attention to the unit price and the quantity. We want to get the total sales by multiplying these two, uh, which we've led us to create this measure, the total sales uh, measure, which if we look here, the DAX is simply multiplying the quantity to the unit price. So let's start visualizing the total sales in a bar chart. So let's bring in the measure right here and let's bring in the order date. Now, if we expand that, uh, it spans a couple of years. So we're going to add a filter just so that we can pick out which parts we want to see in our bar chart. So let's make it a little bit smaller so we can see the bars. So imagine from here, you're given a task to highlight the certain days that have reached certain total sales. So uh, let's say you want to show which bars have reached more than 5,000 pounds in sales, uh, or if they reach more than 10,000 in sales, you want to highlight which days those are. And the easiest way that you can do it is actually by adding a constant line to show your targets. And doing that is actually pretty simple. So if you go to the analytics pane down here, I have to make sure that you select the bar chart first. You'll see the constant line here, which allows you to add constant lines in your charts. So if we hit add, we'll rename this one minimum. We will set the value of 5,000. You'll see that on our bar chart, you can see now this, um, this dotted dash line, which shows us the value of uh, 5,000 from our chart. We can change that color to, let's say, amber. And we can even add more information here. So let's say you want to show the, uh, the value, the text. So the minimum is 5,000. We'll make it orange as well. And let's say we want to have it on the right hand side. You can add multiple constant lines if you wanted to. And let's say in our case, we want to add another one. So let's say we want to add a target right here. And let's say for the targets, we want a target of 10,000. Uh, we want to do the same thing, which is we want to add a data label color as well. We want to show the name and the value and let's say we want to put it on the right hand side to the same place. And that's really it. So by adding the constant line, you've given your users an easier way to determine if those days have reached their specific minimum or target sales, but we want to make it even easier for them. So what we're going to add is conditional formatting in the bars. So they are highlighted based on their performance for that day. And the solution that we're going to use here is actually the same solution that we used for a previous demo where we highlighted the highest and lowest monthly sales in a bar chart, uh, but tweaked slightly differently. So if you want to know how to do that, go check out that video. So from here, what we want to do is we want to create a measure that we will use to conditionally format these bar charts based on the total sales for that day. And to do that is actually pretty simple. We'll create a new measure. First of all, we'll name this one bar color equals, I'm going to create a new switch statement. We'll say true. And for our expression, we want to do a couple of things. So now we already have total sales. So we want to just use the total sales as a reference here. So let's say if the total sales is less than 5,000, we want to show something. So we want to see it red if it's less than 5,000 in total sales. Uh, if it's less than 10,000, I'm going to show it as orange. If the total sales is greater than or equals to 10,000, I'm going to show it green. 
otherwise I want to show it as a gray. And that's it. So now you now have a measure that you can use to conditionally format the bars and just to visualize it uh, for you in a table. What it does, if I bring in the order dates, the total sales and the bar color, you'll see that all of these are red because they are less than 5,000 in sales. As you can see, we have some variances here. So you've got, let's say for this day, you've got 6,000 pounds in sales. So that's orange, which is exactly what we wanted. And here we've got green because it's more than 10,000 pounds in sale. So that's what it's doing. Now we're gonna use these, uh, this bar color measure in a conditional formatting. So we're gonna go to, let me click the bar charts, go to the format pane. Under data colors, you need to click the FX icon. And from here, you wanna format it by a field value. And the field value uh, is will be the bar color. So what it does is, okay, you want to set the colors based on whatever it says on the bar color DAX measure. So if we hit okay, so that's it. Now you've highlighted the bars based on their performance in the day. So as you can see, it's a lot easier to see in combination with the constant lines that we've created. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start using DAX with your conditional formattings in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really enjoyed this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.